Have you ever gazed at the stars and felt a chill creep up your spine? Our universe, a vast expanse of galaxies, stars, and planets, is so grand that it dwarfs our existence. We are but tiny specks in the cosmic ocean, an infinite sea that stretches far beyond our comprehension. This vastness, this infinity, can be overwhelming. It can stir a fear deep within us, a fear known as cosmophobia. The fear of the cosmos, the vastness of space, has long been a source of existential dread. Early astronaut programs were haunted by a phenomenon known as space madness. This term was used to describe the psychological distress experienced by astronauts when confronted with the enormity of space. Anxiety, mood swings, a sense of isolation and severe emotional distress were all symptoms documented in those who had touched the void. The human mind, when faced with the infinite, can falter, overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the cosmos. Historically, we have tried to understand and give order to the universe. We've sought patterns in the stars, developed theories about the cosmos, and launched spacecraft to explore the unknown. Yet the universe remains largely a mystery, a chaotic and unpredictable expanse that defies our attempts to understand it. Despite our best efforts, we cannot tame the cosmos. In the face of this vast, indifferent universe, we are forced to confront our own insignificance. We grapple with the question of what moments to hold on to, what memories to preserve against the backdrop of infinity. Our past, our achievements, are like photographs preserved in time, both a comforting anchor and a reminder of our fleeting existence. But, rather than succumbing to fear, we venture forth. Despite the dread, the anxiety, and the overwhelming vastness, mankind's curiosity propels us into the abyss. We continue to explore, to seek, to discover, we strive to understand the universe and our place within it, for it is in the face of the unknown that we truly find ourselves. Yet, despite the fear, mankind's curiosity propels us into the abyss. Our dread of the cosmic void has found its way into our films and games. This fear, this fascination, has permeated our storytelling, reflecting our collective existential dread of space. Take the film 2001, A Space Odyssey, as an example. Here we see a narrative that begins in a clean, orderly future of space travel. But as the film progresses, it morphs into an exploration of the futile attempt to give order to a chaotic universe. A universe that, despite our best efforts, remains indifferent to our attempts to tame it. Even as we push the boundaries of our knowledge and technology, the cosmos remains resolutely untamed, a vast, an overwhelming entity of unknowns. Then we have Solaris, a film that takes a decidedly more personal approach to exploring the themes of space. Instead of tackling the vastness of the cosmos, Solaris delves into the psychological effects of space exploration. It explores how the void can entrap us within our own memories, our past becoming a haunting specter that we cannot escape, even in the infinity of space. It's a poignant reminder that no matter how far we travel, we can never truly leave our past behind. And then there's the game Outer Wilds, an experience that forces players to confront the question of what moments to hold on to in the face of a vast, indifferent universe. As players navigate this cosmic landscape, they are forced to confront their fears, their failures, and their fleeting triumphs. The past lingers in this game like preserved photographs, both a steadying anchor and a crushing weight. It's a crash course in why space is so nightmarish, yet every failure is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to better understand our place in the cosmos. These media forms mirror our attempts to make sense of the cosmos, our fears, and the quest to understand our place in it. They reflect our struggle to reconcile our desire for order and understanding with the chaotic and indifferent nature of the universe. A struggle that, despite the fear and uncertainty, is an essential part of our human journey. In the game Outer Wilds, you are forced to confront the vast indifferent universe. It's a unique experience, one that mirrors our human endeavor to navigate the cosmos. The game is a microcosm of space exploration, where the player is plunged into the infinite unknown with only their curiosity and courage as their guide. The game pushes its players to the brink, challenging them to decide what moments to hold on to when faced with an endless universe. It's a question that transcends the game's digital boundaries, 
making us consider our own place in the cosmos. What memories would we cherish if we were adrift in the cosmos? What moments would we grasp onto in the face of the infinite? In outer wilds, every failure is a lesson, every setback a stepping stone. Each time you falter, you're given a chance to learn, to grow, to adapt. It's a harsh yet beautiful reflection of our journey in space exploration. We've stumbled, we've faltered, but each time we've risen, grown, and pushed further into the stars. But perhaps the most poignant moment in the game comes at the end of each life. The screen fills with images of all you've accomplished, a visual record of your journey, your struggles, your triumphs. It's your very own golden record, a testament to your resilience and spirit, much like the golden records attached to the Voyager spacecrafts in 1977 to immortalize life on Earth. Outer Wilds is more than just a game. It's a reminder of our quest for knowledge, our thirst for discovery, and our resilience in the face of the unknown. It encapsulates our journey into space with all its beauty and terror, its triumphs and failures. In the end, it's not about conquering the cosmos. It's about the moments that stand out, the lessons we learn, the memories we forge. It's about embracing the unknown and finding our place in the vast, indifferent universe. It's about realizing that in the game of space and time, we are the players, the explorers, the dreamers. And that, in itself, is a victory. So is it worth it? The fear, the dread, the existential crisis? This question may linger in our minds as we contemplate the vastness of the cosmos. The fear of deep space, the so-called space madness, has long haunted us, inducing anxiety and emotional distress. Yet it is this very fear that pushes us to confront our existence, to question our place in the universe, to seek answers in the infinite expanse above. Through media, we've explored these themes, from the futile attempts to bring order to chaos in 2001, a space odyssey, to the introspective journey into our own memories in Solaris. Even in the game Outer Wilds, we grapple with what moments to cherish in the face of an indifferent universe. And so, despite the fear, we continue our quest. We explore, we learn, we seek understanding. Maybe, just maybe, the fear is worth it. For it propels us to explore, to learn, and to understand the vast cosmos that we are a part of.